in closing uh, all the stock parts just for goofing around uh, very good uh, the brakes aren't all that great uh, these are this does have the gray tranny so it has the the brakes that has a little button built into the actual pad the backing plate so that's a bit of a hassle because uh, I want to upgrade to the double disc setup so it doesn't get as hot because you can actually see there is some coloring on I don't know if you can see that but there is a little bit of coloring on my disc from it getting very hot uh, but do remember that with your friction with your friction material any friction material just like on a car as it gets hot you will have brake fade same thing with any friction material on this like sometimes i'll do willy after willy after willy well at times it won't lift the front end off the ground because the slipper clutch the uh friction pads on the slipper clutch have gotten so hot that they're not grabbing as good as they should so that is basically it for these two um like i said you can actually move the shocks i've actually got them set to be the lowest and the stiffest because i do run on asphalt right now because i'm breaking them in uh, i want to break them in very well before i take them to the dirt and really start getting on them good uh, like i said get an infrared thermometer i mean even though it does have telemetry and give me one second and i will display that With the T-Max, I'm just going to take the shell off for, I'm using my tablet. Uh, there is a, an app that you're going to have to download. Uh, I've already got it. It's called Traxxas, uh, Traxxas Link. First, you always turn your transmitter on first. And up here, it's red. Whoops. Damn it. When you turn on your transmitter, the Bluetooth will automatically kick in. As you see, it turns green. Um, actually, my batteries are getting a little low, so I need to charge them. And then you turn on your vehicle. It will also turn green. It actually still has a good amount of power. Uh, to link them, you are actually going to want to go to Garage, Traxxas Wireless Link Module. Mine's connected, but basically what will come up is it's gonna say to press the little button that's on the back of this transmitter, and then there will be a button down here and it will connect. And then turn on your vehicle and it will automatically connect to that and then from there there's many different things you can do you got your telemetry setup model setup which is your spur gear like if you want to change a spur gear to uh, more torque or more speed torque is off the line power speed is mainly horsepower uh, right now I'm running stock so a 58 uh, teeth spur gear a 22 teeth pinion gear drive ratio is 6.010 tires are the 6.3 uh, just the stock tires uh, the battery is the 4 cell rx double a uh, the esc is na because uh, uh it's not electric esc stands for electronic speed control the motor is of course the trx 3.3 uh it has a little racing thing, uh, race day management, all racers, DTS3 setup, that's how to set it up and everything. Uh, start race, race history, and diagnostic. Basically, when you do a race, it will record the entire race. Your revs, the temperature, your battery, pretty much everything. This It's amazing what they've done to these things from what they were to what they are now. Uh, other things you got are Traxxas Stability Management. If you have a better, the best uh, uh, transmitter they have. Uh, of course, connect. You can connect, uh, bind again. 
It has a set TQI transmitter to link mode. That's what this is. This is instead of the TQ, the top qualifier, this is the TQI. Uh, and then it says TQI transmitter to bind mode. That's to bind it to the transmitter, which is up under this box. Uh, you got channel setup, model memory, telemetry setup, model setup, and then you have your dashboard, which of course. Your RPMs, uh, that's 5,000, 10,000, 15,000. It revs like a mother. Uh, the gauge only, the mile per hour gauge only goes up to 50, but you actually get a readout that actually shows how fast you're going. You can add GPS to get a more, uh, basically, uh, what's the word? More accurate speed. Uh, your battery, mine's a little low, so I need to redo it. The temperature is 72 degrees in the house, so of course it's reading 72 degrees. Uh, your profiles, which is my T-Max. Uh, select model. You go through all the different ones and select your model. I got my T-Max in there. I can add telemetry to my Nitro Sport, but it costs a little money. Training mode. Uh you gotta set it up and everything uh, I don't need training mode I've already learned everything uh, you got media then your garage which we are already up under drive effects which is where you have throttle sensitivity no steering sensitivity throttle sensitivity steering which is your dual rate braking which is sort of dual rate for your braking your throttle trim which is basically end point like when you're uh, breaking it in this is a perfect time to set it to negative uh, 75 so it never goes past uh, it never goes past uh, It'll never go past 25%. That's perfect for breaking it in. Uh, and then you have support, of course. But that's that's probably one of the coolest things about the T-Max. But other than that, the, the biggest upgrades I'm going to be doing is, of course, a uh, aluminum shock tower, aluminum bulkheads, aluminum A-arms, uh, four-wheel steering because... It does use the same knuckles front and back for steering because you can actually look in here you can see the blue and it steers the back has the same thing except the tie rods are locked you can always add a uh, you can move the fuel tank somewhere and you can add another servo and you'll have rear steering a little bit of modification drilling some holes to put in a uh, all that steering linkage right here right here you can see the steering linkage oh, let me turn the servos off whoops you can actually see it moving back and forth you got a, a pitman arm a idler uh shit i can't remember the name of the other arm uh drag link the tie rods everything really cool uh but i believe that's it so, uh, like usual, if you have any questions, please hit me down below. Uh, like I said, with the filters, every hour to 15 minutes, no, every hour and 15 minutes to two hours, you need to clean your air filters. And, uh, like I said, Marvel Mystery Oil works great if you don't want to spend a buttload of money for some air filter oil. I also have K&N air filter oil. It works great. Um, and remember to do when you're done make sure to do if it's going to sit for overnight or two or three days without running make sure you do the after run procedure so it does not corrode the inside of the engine because once that happens guess what you're buying a new engine and that fucking sucks thankfully that hasn't happened to me yet but I'm sure it will eventually not because of what I'm doing just because of use I mean, it's like a regular engine, but they are running on 80% uh, 
methanol and 20% nitromethane. Uh, like I said, the fuel is 20% nitromethane, 80% methanol. They do make a, I believe, 10% nitromethane and 30%, no, 90% uh, methanol. And lastly, 33% uh, nitromethane and that would be 67% methanol. That The 33% gives you the most power, but you don't want to jump from one to another. You want to stay with one all the time because if you move back and forth from one to another, the engine isn't going to really take it all that well. So you need to be careful. Choose the fuel that you are going to run all the time. I love this because it has just the right amount of coolant, everything. Uh, so... The last thing, get yourself a set of little tools because you are going to need them to tune this thing. Uh, you have a low speed mixture screw, a high speed mixture screw, an idle screw back here. Same thing on this one, you got a high speed, a low speed on the front, a uh, idle uh, screw. Just, I mean, there's so many different little screws that you need to get, so you need to get a little uh, screwdriver, and I prefer a big screwdriver with a very small extension, so I have enough room to grab so I can get some torque, although you're really not going to need that with this, but it helps. And also get yourself a drill for when it comes time to rebuild things, because a drill will make things a hell of a lot faster. So, let me think, uh, went over the tools, the transmitter, uh, the Traxxas link, get yourself a infrared thermometer, and went over the T-Max, which is mainly what this is about, uh, the Nitro Sport, great little starter, the fuel, uh, re-oiling your air filter, cleaning it up, the Fly Sky GT3C Titanium Edition. Um, this is actually the stock driver that came with this, but the thing that sucks about it is the damn ratcheting. If you put it in a lock place, it'll still move. It'll still ratchet in one direction or another, so it's not all that great because it's so damn small. And it wasn't all that expensive. It was 10, 10 bucks, I believe. So, like I said, have any questions, hit me down below. Peace.